Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 7th Script 6 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about some of the new string methods available to us in ES6. Wow! Okay campus, so I've uh, made a little comment down here with some of the new methods that we're going to take a look at in ES6 and uh, these are the four I'm going to show you. Repeat starts with, ends with and includes and we're just going to start with this repeat method right here. So we can use all of these methods on string instances. And the repeat method basically lets us just repeat a string over and over and over and over as many times as we want. So let's just create a string to begin with. So I'll say var str equals, and I'm going to set this equal to gravy. I like that. Okay, so now all we need to do is say console.log. I'm going to take this string str dot repeat. And then I'm going to say how many times I want this to repeat. In fact, I'm going to put a little space in there so that we don't get it right next to each other when we repeat. So I want this to repeat five times. And if I refresh, then we get gravy, 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 etc. However many times we say. So that's nice and simple, right? And if we want, we can do this a hundred times. And that is just going to fill our console window right there. Cool. Okay, so that's pretty simple. The next method I want to show you is the starts with method. So if I just create a variable called string and set it equal to goodbye, we can check whether this string starts with a certain series of characters. So I could say, well, check whether the string starts with good, for example. Okay. So all I'll do is console.log str and then say starts with and specify what I want it to check that it starts with, which is good, like so. Refresh that, and we get true. So this returns a boolean to us, and it's either gonna be true or false, depending on whether it says, yep, yeah, it does start with that, or nope, it doesn't start with that. If I say it starts with by, and refresh, then I'm gonna get false, because it doesn't start with by, okay? We can pass through another parameter to this method, and this parameter is the position at which we want to start checking. So say, for example, we want to start checking at this position. That's the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4th position, right? So I could say 4, start checking there. Click refresh. Now I get true because we're saying, OK, check if it starts with by from this start position that I've specified right here. All right. So we can do the same thing with ends with. I'm just going to say ends with by. I'm going to take out the second parameter for now and click save, refresh, and I get a true because it does end with by. But if I say, does it end with good? And it says false. Okay. Now, with this, we can also, you know, supply another parameter which says where you want it to kind of start with, uh, from going backwards. So we could say something like, str.length minus three and it's going to start from like this position going backwards and save that and now we get true okay because we've gone in three and now it does end with good pretty cool right so they are these two methods right here starts with and ends with i'm just going to do a little example of uh how we'd use these not maybe how we'd use these but something a little more fun than just console dot logging true or false. So what I want to do is create another variable again, and I'm going to call this variable you say, set that equal to goodbye. And then what I'm going to do is a little if statement to check whether this starts with goodbye. So I'll say if you say dot starts with goodbye, which it does, then I'm going to execute this code block and I'm going to create a new variable called I say and I'm going to set that equal to hello. So what it's going to do is check whether this string right here you say starts with a goodbye, which it does. So then it's going to create a new variable called I say and set that equal to hello. So let's log this now to the console. I'm going to say console.log and I'm going to use those uh, template strings that we learned in the last tutorial. So I use the back ticks first of all, and I'll say you say, and then use the variable substitution to grab this variable right here. You say, and I'm going to say 
I say, and then use this variable right here, like that, I say. And then if I save that and refresh over here, you say goodbye, I say undefined. <laughs> okay, that's not what I wanted. And the error is this capital right here. So now if I save it, it's gonna return true here. You say goodbye, I say hello. All right, pretty cool. So that was just a quick example of how you can use that kind of thing uh, within if statements to check whether something actually starts with a particular phrase or ends with. So the last method I wanna show you is includes, and that's very similar to starts with or ends with, except you don't need to check the start or the end of the sentence or the string. We just check the entire string to see if it contains that series of letters that you're specifying. So let's create a new variable and I'll just say um, test. And I'm gonna say that equal to my name is Arayu. And what include is gonna do is just check for this name right here. So I'm gonna say console.log and I'm gonna say test dot includes and then I'm going to look for name, which isn't at the start and it isn't at the end, but it doesn't matter because we're using this includes. So let's save that and refresh and we get true. If I change this to names, save it and refresh, now we get false, all right? So that guys is the new methods available to us in for strings in ES6. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.